Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how to calculate the probability of error of a frequency shift keying uh, constellation signal. Okay? In a frequency shift keying, in an M-area frequency shift keying, we have the probability of symbol error is given uh, by a bound and not given as an exact formula. Why is that? Because we do not have an exact formula for the probability of symbol error in a frequency shift key. That's why we have to use this bound. And thus, whenever but however, whenever we have a binary phase, a binary frequency shift keying, this inequality holds with equality. Okay? So for m equals 2, you can use it directly. Right? So the problem is asking for a binary frequency shift keying to calculate the probability of error, given that the transmitter is transmitting at a rate, a bit rate of 1 megabits per second, and the sinusoidal wave of this transmission happens with 1 millivolts. So at the receiver, I'm receiving 1 millivolts for the sinusoidal wave. Okay? And remember that this, uh, the, the, the difference between 1 and 0 is not in the amplitude, but otherwise in, in the frequency. Okay? So at the receiver, I have a double-sided uh, noise power, a spectral density of the noise. The double-sided spectral de density of the noise is equal to 10 power negative 12 watts per hertz, which is equal to 12, 10 power negative 12 Joules, okay? What does it mean that I have a double-sided power spectral density? It means that the power spectral density has values in both the negative and the, and the positive values, and this level is, divide, is, the, is defined to be n node over 2. However, in a single-sided, this level is equal to n node, and this equation is derived for single-sided. So that's why you need to calculate the single-sided value from the double-sided. Whenever it gives you the, any value, most likely it is in the double sided, even if it is by default, even if it is not mentioned in the, in the problem. So the, it's always double sided, so you always need to multiply it by 2 to get the single side, and thus be able to substitute in the formula. Okay, so the formula requires us to calculate the average energy and the end node so that we can calculate the probability of error. So, how do I do that? I need to find the end node, so I did find it multiplied by 2, so that's why it's 2 times 10 power negative 12, okay? But I need to calculate the average energy, and that's why I have used these steps to calculate the average energy. How did I do that? The average energy is equal to the power of the sinusoidal signal multiplied by the bit duration. Why the bit duration? Because this is the average energy per bit. Of course, it's supposed to be average energy per symbol, but one symbol has one bit, and that's why it's the average energy per bit. Okay. So I need to calculate the power of the sinusoidal signal, a squared over 2, okay. and then multiply by the duration of 1 bit. Let's first calculate the duration of 1 bit. We have 1 million bits transmitted for every second. So 1 million for every second, so 1 bit is for how many seconds? Cross multiplication, you end up having two, uh, Tb, the bit duration is equal to 10 power negative 6. So thus the average energy is equal to the power, which is half of the amplitude squared, multiplied by 10 power negative 12, multiplied by 10 power negative 6, you get half of 10 power negative 12 joules. Of course, this is in joules because we're assuming that the antenna at the receiver has 1 ohm. Okay, so this equation assumes that the antenna at the receiver has 1 ohm because volt squared does not give you the value in watts but volt squared over 1 ohm gives you the value in watts, okay? So, you end up having this number for the average energy, and you could use the Erfurt function to calculate the, the average error probability, okay? So, this Erfurt function is written this way in MATLAB and in Wolfram Alpha, and you can use it to, uh, to calculate the average probability of error. And you end up having 30% average probability of error, okay? So what we learn in this, in this problem is that the cal calculation of error probability has to be through a known formula, you have to memorize this formula, and you have to calculate the average energy per symbol, which in that case, in our case, since it's a binary frequency shift keying, the average energy per symbol is the same as the average energy per bit, okay? The noise is in watts per hertz, and you calculate it as we've done, and they end up having the probability of error. Okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. 
And if you found this video useful, make sure to share it with other people. Most likely other people need it as well. Thanks.